Hey everybody! Welcome to my Tuesday Facebook Live. My name is Erica Serwin and I am from Pink Buckaroo Designs. If you have never joined me before, thank you. And if you're watching in the replay, of course, thank you as well. Today we're going to make a really cute St. Patrick's Day project. Um, last year, many of you told me that you love to make St. Patrick's Day projects. So I dedicated a whole week to St. Patrick's Day last year, and this year I've only got one project, but I think you're gonna really like it. Hi guys, thanks for joining me, awesome. All right, so today, <laughs> today's project is super cute, but it went through a layer of discussion with my friend Kay. I don't know if she'll be watching today, but <laughs> she and I had quite a few giggles about today's leprechaun, and you'll see them in just a second. Um, so my product of the week this week is the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's on page 25 of the Occasions catalog. It's beautiful. And I, as soon as I saw it last fall, I was like, spring that is a spring paper for sure and it's gonna I'm gonna save it and use it right about that time we're all sick to death of winter and that is right now and I just checked it's not on back order and it's not on low inventory so that is good um, some of the things that coordinate with it are the little uh, punches let's see I have it open right here the little bitty blooms punch pack down here are on back order until the 18th and the happiness blooms dot blooms enamel dots are too but we're not going to use those i'm going to show you how you can just use this paper with things that you already have and they're going to be super cute um let me go and just show you some of the prints um the little daisies i don't know for some reason this all reminds me of girl scouts too and, and i don't know exactly why i don't even remember maybe it's the green the color green um but it's just really cute the little daisies this is the pattern we're going to use today can you see why <laughs> st patrick's day it looks like little clovers i don't know if it actually is clovers but we're calling them clovers um the other colors in this pa paper are calypso coral and lovely lipstick this one is beautiful this would make a pretty bridal uh, shower imitation navy on the back i love that print this one um, kind of looks like dandelions and then the calypso coral polka dot on the back this one is very pretty look at all those colors how well they go together and the navy and kelly green navy and kelly green are my two like i just love it green spring to me and the color that they're using is call me clover and night of navy those are the two colors that they chose which absolutely are perfect girl scouts again jumps into my mind what is it you guys why does it remind me of girl scouts and then over here the little flowers with the calypso um and i think that's grapefruit growth so anyway your pack of designer series paper will have two of each of these and we're going to use it today on our box um and then on Friday, I'm gonna show you three more projects that feature that paper. And one of the projects, I'm actually gonna show you the same project that I've made in four different patterns, using four different of those papers. How, uh, showing you how versatile it is, you can intermingle those papers and the this concept still works. Um, Joanne, you're babysitting your grandson. How nice of you, that's awesome. All right, so you guys, I always give a prize for sharing the video on Facebook. Sharing the video helps me. Looks like my, my camera's a little crooked. Hmm, let's see. When you share the video, it helps me find new stampers. So on Friday, I'll pick somebody new, not new, somebody who shared randomly, and it'll be a random draw, and they're gonna win. Have you guys seen this? This is a demo only, a demonstrator only purchase. We got them at on stage. And then we were able to order them on our supply order. It's a toolkit. Look at it. It's awesome. Has all, all these little pockets and stuff that you can hold your pens, your zipper, I mean your scissors, your adhesive. It's perfect. So I will be giving this, this is the only one I have. I'll be giving this one away on Friday to one person who shares today's video. And look at how springy that is on the back. That's the Stampin' Up's 50th, 50th, 30th anniversary. I don't know what's happening today, you guys. I have spring on the mind. We are going on vacation next week. You know how the week before vacation, you're just kind of like 
checking the boxes, trying to get through the week. I'll tell you guys more about our trip later, but we're going to be gone all next week and I can't wait. All right. Also, I want to remind you about Paper Pumpkin. It's Paper Pumpkin's sixth birthday, which is very exciting. And in case you haven't seen inside of Paper Pumpkin, I thought I'd show you. I just broke the seal on this one. This is what this one we got this month looked like. It has a little insert about this month or neck this month, which is March. This was February's. You can get March's. March's is the birthday box and it comes with two stamp sets. Every box comes with a stamp set. Here's February's and March's is going to have two different stamp sets. So that's an amazing value for $20. You get all the projects, an ink spot, and next month two stamp sets. So that's pretty incredible if you ask me. So it always comes with a little ink spot. If you have your Paper Pumpkin subscription for 12 months, you'll have 12 different inks. They will not duplicate those. And then it's wrapped up nice and pretty and when you take it out, it has all everything you need inside this kit with instructions and then they also put out a video to help you to, to help show you how to make this so if you are interested in subscribing to paper pumpkin you can do that you can subscribe for one month if you just want to get this month's kit and then cancel anytime but the best value right now is when you buy a prepaid paper pumpkin subscription you can buy three months six months or 12 months at a time and it will um, earn you celebration products. Sorry, I'm distracted by my iPad. <laughs> I forgot it was sitting there. Couldn't see all the comments. Um, when you buy three, six, or 12 months, you qualify for free celebration items, which we all know is awesome because we get free stuff. And then um, you um, enter your code and it turns on your subscription and you'll get a new kit every month, which is awesome and so fun. So I highly recommend you do that, especially right now. So you'll get that um, this month's kit with an extra stamp set in it. Okay, so uh, let's see. I told you guys on Friday about this month's um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I haven't mailed them out yet, you guys, and I'm going to set this right there on my chair. And So I remember to do that this afternoon. I mail these, email these out once a week to anybody who has spent $50 with me. So um, anybody who has placed an online order between March 1st and right now, I will be emailing you this this afternoon. Um, so just know that if your order is close to $50, of course, right now you should bump it to get a free celebration item, but you're also going to get this PDF. It has sev about 72 pages worth of tutorials by some awesome demonstrators, including me. Um, so it's a great it's a great freebie it's something you get as a thank you from us and if you want to just buy the pdf i will have it in my pdf store we're, we're gonna have a blog hop on friday um where you guys can see kind of sneak peeks of everybody's projects so make sure you check my blog on that on friday okay the pdf is 15 dollars in case you were interested and you wanted to just buy the pdf okay i think we're ready to get started Remember, celebrations happening, free products with every $50 order, and there are eight new items that you can get with your $50 order. So make sure don't, you know, don't submit your order and it be $47. You gotta bump it to 50, guys, so you can get your free things. It's only three months of the year that you get free things with your order. And today, we're gonna use, again, hopefully you saw last week, um, the things that I use from Celebration Coordination. Those are the products that were created to enhance our free items. And we used um, the Call Me Cupcake framelits, the Hop Along framelits, the, the stamp set, the punch. Well, today we're gonna use this right here, the, the Call Me Cupcake framelits again. Um, I told you guys last week, I am in love with these framelits. They are awesome. Um, they coordinate, of course, with, here's the free stamp set. This is one of your free choices you can get with a $50 purchase. Here are the framelits that go with it. We're gonna use this one today, and we're not gonna make a cupcake, we're gonna make a little beard. Look, it's a beard, you guys. <laughs> I know, people have been using it for other things that we will not talk about, but we're gonna use it as a beard today, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you where I got my inspiration for today's project, okay? Oh, I was gonna show you guys. I'll save that for Friday. All right, make sure you join my Facebook group because I do a lot of, a lot of things on Friday. I do three projects and show you all kinds of stuff and I'm gonna save something I was gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you on Friday, okay? Vicki, you're so sweet, thank you. 
All right, hold on. Close your eyes for a second while I get situated. Let's see. Um, one thing that I am going to start doing is helping you guys with inspiration. I, the question I get asked the most, the very most, is how do you come up with all your ideas? And quite honestly, I come up with my ideas in a lot of different ways. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to spend some time really focusing on how I come up with my ideas. Um, today, I'm going to show you my inspiration photo. Um, by the way, I didn't mention, here's this week's host code. If you put in an order, minimum $30 order, using this host code by Monday at midnight, you're going to get Friday's three make and takes for free. I just finished cutting last week's make and takes. They will go out tomorrow. Um, there was a lot of you who put your orders in. It took me quite a while, so thank you everyone. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all of those orders. Okay, so here's my inspiration photo. I go to Pinterest, and I don't just necessarily search Stampin' Up, um, Call Me Cupcake Framelits. You know, that's one way to get ideas. But I, when I'm trying to come up with something kind of broad, something that's not specific because I didn't know what I wanted to make. I will search um, things like St. Patrick's Day cookies or St. Patrick's Day cakes, St. Patrick's Day decorations. And a lot of times that will give me some ideas. And these cookies that I found on Pinterest caught my attention. And immediately, what did I see right here? There's that cupcake shaped bottom, right, or top. And I thought, okie dokie, we need to make that with the cupcake. So then that's what that's where my starting point was. Um, so that's where I got my inspiration this week. On Friday, I'm going to show you something else where I got my inspiration for those projects. All right, yes, and Betty, you are right. This is what is inside our box today. Here's our box. Here's our cute little leprechaun. And it's a little drawer. Pulls out. See that? And I have used these in years past. These are the Hostess Mint Chocolate Cupcake. Um, not Twinkies, but I don't know. What do you call those? Cupcakes, anyway. The stuff's in the inside. And I saw those and I bought them. So I made the little box perfect for those. And I made our little cupcake bearded leprechaun for the top. So that's what we're going to make today. All right, you guys? Okay, let me readjust, get everything out of the way, grab my water. So next week, you guys, just a heads up, I'm going to be out of town all week. So there will be no Facebook Live on Tuesday or Friday next week. I'm here this, this week on Friday, but next week I'll be gone. So just a heads up, all right? Okay, I think we need to make our leprechaun first. So let's do that. Of course, you all noticed right away his beard. We're going to use that cupcake top as his beard. And there have been some mentions, right, of these little swirls. We talked about that the week we did um, the whole week on this stamp set. And we talked about that's a an artist technique of um, shading. They do, sometimes they do little X's, sometimes they do swirls, little lines. It's just a shading technique that artists use. And a lot of us were like, that kind of looks like hair. <laughs> so, hence the beard, all right? Work with me, you guys. Come on, you got it, you got to see. Yes, okay, okay, I see it. All right, so let's stamp our beard. Hey, and I screwed up again this week with a retired product. I don't know if any of you have noticed. I'll point it out to you when we get there and how we're going to get around it. We're going to stamp the cupcake top or the beard in pumpkin pie cards ink. Pumpkin pie ink on pumpkin pie cardstock, all right? And let's go ahead and cut that out. Bring over the big shot. Now, another part of our little leprechaun that is coming from the cupcake, call me cupcake, framelits is this funky piece. We've talked about this too. This is that funky um, stamp. It's the, the top of the cake part that goes under the icing. You guys know what I'm talking about? Remember, we're like, what is that? 
right there. That's what you go, you stamp here and then you put that on top of it. So that's what this is, it cuts that out. But we're using it for the top, the brim of the hat, okay? All right, and you're gonna need two of those. So let's get this lined up. Now, my friend Kay and I went round and round. Well, not that sounds kind of dramatic. I bounce ideas off my friend Kay. She bounces ideas off of me. It's great to have a friend that you can do that to. So earlier last week, I guess, when I was working on this, I sent a picture to her. And notice these guys have no eyes, right? My guy had no eyes. And she said, no, I think he needs eyes. So we added the eyes. And I do think it does look a little bit better, but I'm gonna show you how, you can just leave the eyes off too. All right, so two of these little funky shapes that we don't know what they, they're called. It's just the top of the cupcake cake part. I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. Now that I've showed you, it's that. Okay, so we've got that. And this, these are gonna go together like this. Let's see, like that, all right to make the hat. We have cut out a one and a half inch petal pink circle, a half inch petal pink circle. And for his hat, I went over to my punches and I grabbed this punch. Do you guys have this punch? Let's turn it this way so you can see. This was in the Holiday Traditions punch box in the holiday catalog. Shoot, it's not available right now. So it might come back in the annual catalog by itself, but I don't know that. Um, and so that's what I originally made his hat with. And when I went to pull everything out today to list on my blog, I realized it's retired. So we're gonna do something else. You could, and I did this, look, this is the cake builder. You could do the cake builder there, the top of his hat, if you have that. Or you can get the everyday label punch, which is what I'm gonna do. This is a just a scrap long piece of uh, Call Me Clover and it's one and a fourth inches wide. And I'm gonna stick it in the back side of my punch. So I can get it in there. Let's do it this way so I can use my right hand. All right, so you wanna center it in there the best you can and punch it. So we're gonna use that as the top of our hat, okay? All right, then we're gonna just cut some of it off. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna cover some of it up too. So I'm, that's why I'm not telling you the exact length. Um, I have made, I have cut a quarter inch basic black. Um, strip right there. Let's see. I'm guessing that's about, well, let me get the ruler because I know you guys are going to want to know. That is just about one inch down. See how I made it a little bit longer? It's actually one and three fourths because we're going to glue it onto that hat. I mean, onto that, um, the, his head. All right. So snip this off like that good morning leslie from tasmania wow Isn't that amazing what technology does we can see each other around the world all right i'm going to start first here this is the little buckle on his hat actually no you know what i'm going to do i'm going to put these on first and i'm just going to use glue dots and i'm going to kind of overlap that black a little bit like that and over here Let's see, do we want it to, yeah, we need to do this one upside down. That way they'll be exactly the same. Like that, all right, let's see if I can get that glue dot off. Line them up so that they are just overlapping. And then you're gonna take your half inch gold foil. Mm -hmm. Where do I want that, right? Let's see, like that your gold foil square, half an inch, okay? Who else, what did I see? New Zealand, Sylvia, goodness, New Zealand. You guys are so far away. Missouri, that's not too far away compared to those. It is, it is far, but not quite as far. All right, so a quarter inch square basic black, a half inch square of gold, and there's our hat, our leprechaun hat. Now I'm gonna take this, and, well, I can't pick it up. 
and I'm gonna slide this, hmm, let's see. I may need to do some trimming. Yep, we're gonna have to do some trimming right here. Now it really looks like a hat with all that extra stuff hanging down. All right, let's put that. I've already put the adhesive on there. Let's overlap that like that. All right, it's coming together. Kind of looks like a cowboy hat right now. And then his beard is like that. Let's look at the picture again. See how the beard goes all the way up to the hat? Oh, and the smile, that's another thing I didn't add that we could add. I showed my husband and that's what bothered him that I didn't add the smile. <laughs> it's funny what stands out to people. All right, so we're not really showing very much of the face and that's because we don't wanna have to draw that face in. That's what's so hard is trying to draw the face. Okay, now let's get our half inch circle and put that on with a many dimensional like that. And there he is, okay. So now he doesn't have any eyes, and Kay said he needed eyes. So all I'm gonna do is just make these little bitty, and this part I guess needs to come down just a bit. So I can add that other eye. Just two little dots. Well, goodness, everything's getting wonky. Silly leprechaun, like that. All right, look at him, he's so cute. I just love him, so cute. Okay, let's make the box. Now, you know what, before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And I need to make sure that I'm not losing all my little papers over here. You know, I'm trying to watch y'all's comments, but I haven't even opened my stinking iPad. All right, all right, we got it, we got it. Okay, now the sentiment is coming from Amazing Life. And the reason I chose this one is because it had a, a shamrock, but then I didn't even end up using the shamrock. Um, so the good luck I thought was good for this. And it has that shamrock if you wanted to add, whoops, I just hit the camera, sorry about that. So call me Clover on a whisper white stitched rectangle. Now over my blog, you guys, I have everything listed. Mm, I don't like that, let's try again on the back side. I have everything already listed. I have a supply list at the bottom. And, hmm, looks like my ink pad needs to be inked. I wonder why, because just the other day it was just fine. I don't think I've used it since then. Over on my blog, you can go click on pinkbuckaroo.com right now and the very top post has everything you need for this project. The measurements, the products, the photos, everything that you need, okay? Um, and I was gonna tell you the size of this rectangle because there are so many, three and a fourth by one and a fourth. All right, three and a fourth by one and a fourth. All right, let's make the box. Put him up there so I don't lose him. All right, you're gonna start with a piece of, call me Clover, Card stock that measures, I gotta look at my notes, um, five and five eighths by six. So five eighths is one, two, three, four, five tick marks past the five, or one tick mark past five and a half, in case you were wondering, okay? So five and five eighths by six, and we're gonna score it at one and a half on all four sides. Just keep turning it. Then you're gonna need another piece of Call Me Clover that measures three and an eighth by nine and a half. And let's move those so we don't get confused. We're gonna score it at one, three and three fourths, five and a fourth, and eight. There's a lot of measurements, but just go over pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll see it. It's all listed there. All right, let's make the box first. And let's see, I'd rather use my large scissors, but I don't have them. You're gonna cut the corners off of this square piece starting at that score line and ending at that score line. This is just gonna reduce some of the bulk from our box and make it go together a little bit smoother. Now, on two sides, we're going to cut those score lines. A forest ranger, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right, Karen, I'm listening to a silly book right now that has a forest ranger in it. I didn't even think about that, but you were totally right. And a cowboy, his hat's a little bit taller than this one. I think I like this one better, but again, that punch is retired. So we'll have to make do. 
See, look at your punches and see what you have. See what will work. All right, so let's put some adhesive. You've got to use a strong adhesive. Tear and tape um, is preferred probably. And then you could use your Tombow liquid and last but not least, Fast Fuse if you have any left. My Fast Fuse supply is beginning to dwindle a bit. I'm getting sad. It retired and it's long gone. All right, did you guys see what I did? I folded those up into that box. And let's get one of our little Hostess cupcakes. One of my daughters loves mint chocolate and the other two don't like it. So she's gonna be very happy when I take this box to her later on today. All right, so we'll set that there. Now we've got the other piece. Do I have my bone folder? Let's see, here it is. Burnish all these lines. And you guys think it needs a mouth, Betty? You, you guys think it needs a mouth? <laughs> Trisha, funny. Oh, so funny. Okay, sorry, I had to read your comments real quick. Now we've burnished all those lines. Here's the one inch section. We're gonna put our adhesive on that. And if everything is scored properly, you should be able to fold it down right there and it should be flat and it should be even. And see how that is? Okay, now let's see if it fits. Yay, it does, all right. Here's our piece of designer series paper. Remember we're using the little shamrock piece. It measures two and a half by three. I'm gonna put that there. Now I'm gonna do something. We gotta take this out. We gotta make a little drawer pull. So I'm gonna punch a 1 8 inch circle on one end and then I'm gonna grab my Call Me Clover ribbon. Don't you love it when everything is the same color and you don't have to try to find something that matches? I love it. All right, so now we're gonna fold it and tie a knot on one end like that. And then I'm gonna need your my uh, take your pick tool probably. I'm gonna take that folded end and feed it through. Let's see if I can grab it. Mm. Come on, I almost have it. Right there, there we go. All right, so see how that knot is holding that in there like that? And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim that down like that. So that's a little drawer pull for your, for your drawer. Uh-oh, where's the cupcake? There it is. Put it back in there. And last but not least, we gotta put our forest ranger, I mean leprechaun, <laughs> on the front. Oh, he looks kind of like a cowboy, this one. I don't know, I think it's hat is a little bit too tall. But that's all right. I think the orange beard will give it away, don't you? And that's it, easy peasy. You could make a bunch of those in no time. Just. Do, every, do all the steps at once. If you were gonna do a bunch of them, stamp all the beards and cut them all out. Punch all the hats out, punch all the faces out, and then start a sim, an assembly line. And then you'll be ready to make your boxes. All right, you guys, so what do you think? I honestly will tell you, if Kay is watching, she will back me up. I didn't know about this. I thought, mm, I don't know. Is that a little weird? <laughs> But now the more I look at it, I really love it. And I think you guys liked it too. You gave me a great, some great feedback today when I posted it. So I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, you guys like him. A Texas leprechaun, you're right. Yeehaw, that is. He's Texas, Texas. I, I saw a shirt, it said, I'm Texish, not Irish, Texish. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was cute. All right, so shorten your hat a bit. He'll look more like a leprechaun or use that punch if you still have it. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Make sure you share the video so you'll be entered in for the prize. Also, make sure that you have joined my Facebook group. I'll add that link up here at the top of the video. And then join me on Friday for three more projects featuring this beautiful paper and, of course, prizes. You guys have a wonderful week. And I will see you on Friday.
Thanks. Bye.